How about a quick tutorial on the spotlight feature, which can add to your camera. In addition to, instead of, and I do have a camera tutorial from CS Pro, but that hasn't changed. So what I'm going to show you is that you can use the spotlight feature to then just highlight specific parts of your um, scene. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to hide that. You're going to go up here to effects and components and then to components. And you're just going to grab the spotlight to your timeline. Now here, it's pretty um, harsh. I don't like the hard lines. So you can change that with the feather and you can make it however, whatever effect you want. So I'm going to put it like that. You also can use a circle or a rectangle. I prefer the circle. And then I'm going to put it where I want. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can change the size, which you also can do over here with the scale. And you can change, maybe make it an oval. Then you're just going to animate it like you do anything else. I use position and scale. I'm going to use linear. You have your first keyframe is where it is. Your second keyframe is going to be where you want it. It's a little big. I can change it. And now you see it move. Then you can add another. And then maybe I want to bring it to them in the back, and I want it even a little bit smaller. Then you can bring it out to the whole scene. Here I would use the scale here, and I'm going to make it bigger. Oh, you see what I did? I did it on the beginning keyframe, and that's not what I want, so I'm going to hit Command Z to fix that, go to the end keyframe, and then change the scale. And you can change the scale so it's still blurred on the edges or all the way. You can choose what you want for the effect that you are looking for. And you can see that it moves and it changes the shape and size. And if I want that to go all the way, I can do that. So there you go. Super easy and it does some really cool things when you use it. I hope this helped.